Is it hard for you to like take somebody serious through social media? You see, and shoot your shot. What if it's somebody that had a crush on you? If your intentions are pure, like what would you say to me? Because I got a crush on somebody, but like my intentions would be pure though. Mom! Vinny's and Ferb are making a title sequence! Look, you ever had a uh, you ever had a pregnancy scare? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Somebody's about to get put in the hot seat. Do you have a favorite ex? If I had to choose, if you had to choose one do. ex, who was your favorite ex? Out of all your exes, that one's your favorite. I guess Jada. 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 Wow, God! Somebody, somebody randomly just sent me twenty dollars. We could be cool though. Ooh, let me see. see. Look, somebody randomly sent me twenty dollars. Yes, free food. Thanks. Next question. Next question. Dang it! You just stood up. I'm scared now. Next question. Ooh. Um, okay, let me see, let me see. This is off the top of the dome, so y'all gotta spare me. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Answer that one already. So, who's the last person you had sex with? Um, a goofy. A goofy? What made them goofy? Their actions. Afterwards or before? Before, during, and after. During? What made it goofy? I'm saying like what made her actions goofy like what makes her goofy damn you know what let's just move forward yeah we just gonna move forward all right cool 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 if you have one who's the person that you're dealing with right now <laughs> nobody ladies y'all hear that y'all hear here first my buddy chris free agent let's go slide in the don't slide in his uh DMs. Uh, okay. Yes, you slide, you just gonna, how you gonna make it. <laughs> so, cause you know, you being you, right? Uh, let me see. Is it difficult for you to like, for a girl to stand out to you? Like, what if somebody's trying to shoot they shot at you, right? What is, what is How would you know shot? if you, if it's genuine? Basically, the way how I be saying it, I be saying it like Instagram is basically like a whole nother dating app. Cause you can scroll on Instagram, see somebody bad, see somebody handsome, shoot your shot, just like that. That's why I say it's like a dating thing. But you know, you a real like high Instagram, TikTok, YouTuber, influencer all around. So it's just like, isn't it difficult for you to like know when somebody genuinely wants to talk to you for you instead of like beyond the followers and all that? That's why I don't talk to nobody. Dang it. So what does it take for a girl to like reach and you know, gain your attention? Attention. Through social media, I'm gonna say. Versus like in person. It depends on how her Instagram page looks. Like, what are we talking? Like, you seeing her shoot your shot? Mm -hmm. Shoot my shot, as in like her hitting and then leaving, or me talking to her, or me actually trying to make her my girlfriend. It's not. I'm not talking about you at her. I'm talking about a female at you. Exactly. Yeah. So what if she just sliding your DMs like? But well, what is the she's, intention? She's trying to. She's actually genuinely trying to talk to you, but you don't know, though. That's why I'm, like, asking, like, is it hard for you to, like, you know, take somebody serious through social media without knowing, like, if their I mean, intentions I know, are I pure? Already, I already know their intentions are pure. Well, what if somebody's intentions aren't pure, though? I mean, it depends on how you come at me. Like, mm -hmm. if your intentions are pure, like, what would you say to me? Like, you don't even know me. How your intentions pure? You know me off of Instagram. Like, you don't even know me. What if it's somebody that had a crush on you? Of even course you worse. wouldn't know. Even worse. I don't know, cause I got a crush on somebody, but like I don't, I'm not gonna shoot my shot through no like no DM or nothing like that. If. But like my if, intentions would be pure though, cause they are. Wrong. Ooh. How? If you have a crush on someone prior to meeting them, 
Mm-hmm. You automatically had a, a narrative on how they move, think, how they maneuver, which made you like them at that point in time. Mm -hmm. So once you meet them, it's automatically over with because you already have a pre premeditated thought about them. So if it's not exactly that, regardless if you like it or not, your body is just going to automatically go into, oh yeah, this ain't, this ain't what I thought it was going to be. So it's out the window and it's a waste of time. As opposed to meeting someone you've never seen ever before. Mm -hmm. And now y'all have y'all very first, both of you, not not a mo not y'all, not this motherfucker meet you for the first time and you been new about him. So now you finally meet him in person. It's a, I never met you, you never met me. That's the best way, just because I, I, I mean, I've been clouded for, since I was four, since I was a kid, so. Mm -hmm. It's hard for me to, you get what I'm saying? I, okay, I know so the tricks already. For you, you would actually prefer, like, that one that you were saying, like, if you see them in person and y'all don't know each other at all, or she don't know nothing about you. Mm -hmm. so I mean, that's the only genuine way ever. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be another genuine way. I, 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 I'm going to tell you now. If she sees you off of Instagram and y'all DMing each other, it's not a genuine way because she only liked you because of your profile. If your profile looked different, it would be different. Period. So that's what Instagram is. So you, would, you wouldn't date another influencer? I mean, I wouldn't think of them as this going to be my wife. I'm going to have kids with them. Because I, I think that deep when I get into a relationship. As you should. So if I get into a relationship, I'm thinking that. Mm -hmm. If I get into a relationship and I'm not thinking that, then I'm letting you know that we just having fun. So you just have to tell a girl like way beforehand, like, okay, this is what I'm trying to do with you. Oh, I tell you. But immediately when a girl tells you, yeah, I'm, I, ain't gonna, I like you, I'm on it. Next message, I'm letting them know what the fuck it is. So you like her, then what you doing? Like, how you moving? I gotta treat every girl the same until she proves to me that she can be treated different. Rewind. I treat every single girl the same uh -huh. until one girl is proven that she can be treated differently than every other girl. Okay. How do I want to ask this? Because all these questions are really coming from the top of my head. I can't, you know off my phone I didn't have time for that so like let's say the roles were flipped how are you expressing yourself to a girl so that she knows that you there like you like her for real cause some girls be needing clarity too you know like I mean it's gonna be very very mutual I'm not shooting my shot at somebody that don't want me mm. like, it's gonna be a very mutual thing I'm not it's not gonna be a thing where I have to how do I know this? It's going to be very, very mutual. We're going to be friends first. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be You go. get it? Build the friendship first. Then let everything else play out after. Okay? Easy. I think that's probably kind of why it's weird for me, too. I ain't going to lie. When it comes to dating and all that, it's like the approach is one thing, but then it's like, what are your intentions afterward? Because I feel like, like with males, it'd be a whole lot different. I'm talking about like for me, though. So it's just like the whole male approach thing. And then I don't be knowing the intentions for real. Because sometimes people like try to talk to me just for like, oh, she got a pretty face or whatever. Let me just keep her around. Or the people that she'd be around or who she is. Would I really would potentially be, see would what she could me, be for real? It'd be, ooh. I don't. I like him. I like his face. I like his clout. I don't want no other girl to have that. Mm, that's another thing too, and that's that. I could agree with that too, cause I run into a few males like that too. I could never get past the talking stage. I don't even consider myself being in any of the talking stages stages that I was in. Cause what's the longest uh talking stage you could go like be in until you get into a relationship? Wrong nigga to ask that question. I don't know. How? I can go a very, very long time in the talking stage. Not too, too, too long. I can go very, very I long. I could go... Because, like, what the fuck? I'm rushing into something. For. It's not even only about rushing. Yes, though. it is. It's not. Like, yes, it is. Think about what you just said. Even thinking like that, like, I don't know if I can wait. It ain't like... like a, now, listen. It's not like I'm talking about, like, marriage or something. I know, but I'm saying a relationship is like, you got to build your way to that shit. I feel like that shit. It's like even thinking about, oh, I'm talking to him for too long. I gotta have like a due date on when you gotta. No, I wasn't saying it like that. Okay, okay, let me just say how it was like for me when I was talking to somebody. The thing that more so like bothered me just a little bit 
it was like we do so much like I think that's what another problem is too nowadays because like you do so much like relationship stuff too soon I feel like so it's just like a lot of people will feel like all right so if that's the case then why are we not boyfriend and girlfriend but y'all not using that time to like learn each other for real for real or like actually focus on like bonding something for real like genuinely can't be me so it's just like yeah you would count me out quick i'm telling you that right now i'm for real just like how motherfuckers be talking about it. yeah i ain't gonna let my girl just hit me Ooh, ooh. what like are you are y'all that mad at each other it be like that i ain't gonna lie to you don't no, I'm saying, like, in general, like, it really be like that. It do. Like, any girl I get with can never even raise a, raise a hand and me, won't even feel comfortable raising a hand at me. I just know. I'm never, I'm never going to pick a girl that's even like that. Yeah, you got to know the person that you're I'm about very, to deal very with, picky. though. picky. Like, you should know. Picky that. as hell, too. That's what I'm saying. Like, you should know who the fuck you're dealing with. Some niggas, they don't really, like, they know, they, some of them actually enjoy picking at their girlfriend, for real, just to see her get to that extent of crazy. That's how I be for real. Mm -hmm. I it ha I could say like I was one of them victims, but I was like crazy in love. I wouldn't say the crazy part, cause it's just like I feel like me personally. I feel like when you in love with somebody and it gets to that certain extent, it's just like you end up finding yourself doing like crazy stuff to a whole another extent that you wouldn't even imagine you doing. That was my first time ever being in love, so that was like something new. Yeah, Ever that I was something like, completely new. But like now learning what I what I've learned for real for real. This is gonna be third time the charm. Third time the charm. So boy, you better pick her wisely. That's what I'm saying. You better pick her wisely, boy. That's about to be your wife. What you talking about? Sorry, I was just kind of getting excited for you. Huh? <laughs> I think I should put Chris on a. Uh, she's gonna get asked immediately. She in there. Oh, uh, and then there are all the fans gonna be like, why he's so mean and all this. Chris is not mean. And that's what I'm saying, but I'm very picky when it comes to that. And then they'll get all insecure and all. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So Chris is not mean. I recommend you. Chris don't stand out. In the house. No shade to none of the boys. I'm not shady. I'm not messy. I'm not none of that. Chris, he stood out to me personally. One, I like style. That was the first thing that come out. Because I'm like, I ain't gonna lie, boy, them pants nice. <laughs> like, them pants nice for real. Let me get them things above you. Let me drop the link right now. But yeah, the pants stood out to me, and then it was just like, as all of us was in the car, we was talking. It was just like, all right, he's funny too, <laughs> and he actually has a sense of humor. Like when I be making jokes and stuff like that, I don't know. It, everybody wouldn't think it's funny versus everybody else. No, I get the jokes. So, I watch anime and shit. You like? Yeah. So I don't know. I'm just like, okay, I can hang around Chris. He real cool, dude. He really cool. <laughs> and then we all started getting into the house for real, and I was just like, oh, you're nice. Then he kept waking me up every single every day. day. I'm like this. Every day. He's just like, can I use your charger? Can I use your charger? Boy, move! My mouth smells crazy. You don't even asking me for a charger. Like, what's wrong with him? Chris is nice, y'all. He is not mean. Yeah. She'll be mad. Crazy. She'll be mad. She'll be mad. She'll be mad. She'll be mad. 100 likes to put him on a blind date. He can't say nothing bad.